New census figures show there are more than 11 million single parent families in the United States, and, and the majority of them are headed by single moms. But what those statistics don't show are how many of those women choose to start a family on their own. Our guest says more adult women are becoming single moms by choice rather than waiting for that right partner to start their families. Florence Ann Romano is one of those women, and she's here to share more about her decision. Good morning. Good morning. Florence, what made you decide to start this journey to becoming a single mom at this time in your life? Well, at 30 years old, I had promised myself if I hadn't, if I wasn't married by 35, I would freeze my eggs and consider having a baby on my own. Well, here I am at 35, and I've made good on half that promise. I have frozen my eggs, uh, and I have decided to take the next step and uh, become a single mom by choice. I have four embryos frozen on ice <laughs> um, by a sperm donor. I have two girls and two boys, and in the next several weeks, I will be undergoing um, my embryo transfer of the strongest embryo, which is a baby girl. Oh, wow. And so you're choosing to use IVF as the method to have a yes. child, um, as opposed to something like adoption. Is there a reason why, why you're doing it the way you are? I've always wanted to try and carry a baby, um, and I, I'd love the chance to do that if I can, and um, always wanted to also try to have a biological child. Uh, finding the sperm donor was was very funny. You know, you go on and look at these profiles, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I wouldn't even go on a date with this guy if I met him in a bar, but I'm going to have a baby with this guy. Uh, so you have to really do some for some digging, I suppose, but there, there really were some wonderful, wonderful men, wonderfully generous men uh, that I found in these profiles profiles and I'm very happy with the donor that I ended up choosing. Uh, he he kind of seemed like someone that I, if I met, he would automatically have that kind of warmth about him and the values that aligned with mine as well. Wow. I mean, this sounds like quite the journey. Now, how common is it for women to do this? Are, do you know other women who've made a similar choice, like the, like what you're oh, doing? Oh, before I started this, I knew no one else that was doing this. And so when I, I go to a fertility clinic in Colorado called CCRM, and one thing that they do, which I think is so smart and so helpful for us, is they connect you with other single moms by choice. And so I have made some very new friends, and oh my gosh, you realize all of a sudden you are not alone. You can relate to these women, because you think you're, you're just like the odd woman out. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're like, man, other people are making this decision and they have reasons that are similar to mine. And it, it just is a really nice bonding experience and makes you feel much less alone during an already lonely time. Well, and I'm sure it can be lonely. It's also exciting, right? When you think about becoming yes. a mom, if, especially when yes. that's something you've always dreamed of, but yes. there are other challenges. I mean, this, this is a whole process. It's a big process. I'll tell you, the hormones are real. Anyone that tells you, you know, oh, IVF, I hear, you know, your hormones get a little out of whack. Yes, the, the answer is yes. The hormones do affect you. You do a lot to your body. You kind of give your body over to science uh, for a while. Um, and, you know, because we're also living during this pandemic, we constantly have to be taking COVID tests in order to go get monitored for a lot of what we're doing. And if you don't pass, then you kind of have to stop what you're doing. So there's a lot of anxiety that goes along with it. Even being vaccinated like myself, you can still test positive. So there's a lot of steps and a lot of medication, a lot of things your body's going through. So staying mentally healthy and having a really strong village of support around you is paramount during this. Well, I wish you the best on your journey. And before we let Thank you go, you. You know, how are you feeling at the prospect of becoming a single mom? Very scared. <laughs> I think, I, but mostly um, the, the the excitement and the love I have in my heart to give this baby um, definitely supersedes any of my anxiety. So um, if it's meant to be, it will be. And I hope maybe the next time we talk, I, I'll have good news for you. <laughs> good news for us. Well, like I said, we wish you the best of luck. And thank you so much for sharing your story because I'm sure there's a lot of women out there who are having similar feelings, considering similar things, and can really benefit from what you had to say. Appreciate you, Florence. And you can keep up with Florence and this journey she's on to become a single mom by choice on Instagram. She's at florenceann.romano.